Hey everybody, it's Wisp, and if you're wondering why I haven't made a review on the One Punch Man app yet, it's definitely because I've been playing the app a lot, like kind of nonstop. Um, I actually recorded my polls, not my first polls, but some of my early polls on the first day I played, and that video got uh, lost in my upload or something like that. So that is coming just late. I will show that, kind of backdate that. But once you see it, I'm much further than that now. I've played all the modes. Been, been making a lot of progress. And I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because it is... I'm a huge Fire Emblem Heroes player. That one has a certain type of a chess kind of strategy. This is those old school turn-based strategy games. But each character has so much uniqueness in them and so much love put into them that I, I just think it's very interesting. And of course, I mean, in any of these games, you get those characters that are kind of, this is the one you want. This is the good character. This is the powerful one. But it is done in a way that it kind of feels like you could make your team out of any character you like as long as they're SR or SSR, the the two more rare categories. The early ones might be able to be used for early game, but they, they don't hold up. But the game has a lot of modes. There's a lot of stuff to do in it. And if you're just trying to do dailies after the first day or two, you can kind of go through it quickly. But if you want to actually play the game, there is a lot of stuff to keep you engaged, even without needing to put money in the game or buy extra stamina. And obviously that's an option. You can buy stamina to progress faster. I would say the pay-to-win potential is there if you're going to buy a lot of stamina and farm for a lot of materials all the time. But it's a pretty good standard game without that as well. My biggest complaint is the limited tickets are incredibly hard to come by, and... I believe, I believe you'd have to skip three or four premium characters to guarantee one later down the line. And that's, that is a bad look. The amount of skipping you have to do to try to guarantee a character is ridiculous. But for the non-premium characters, it's pretty easy to get them. You can get a really solid team that will hold up for a long time without having to put any money into the game. And that's lovely. They also gave us Boros for free, like a really popular character came for completely free. They released another really powerful character for an $8 plus tax pack, which does get out of free to play, but it, it's affordable. So I'm a little bit, I'm very negative about how they treat the premium characters, but they do these other packs that do give you powerful things for cheap or powerful things for free, and I do appreciate that. Definitely where I land at the end of the day is it is very much impossible without putting a lot of money in to get any character you want or to pick which characters you get even, but you will get a powerful team if you just keep playing. There is There are a lot of characters that are not, not free but not premium that you can get and you will eventually get if you just keep playing. The biggest draw to the game to me is just the various different modes, and I mean, the gameplay is the gameplay. The gameplay doesn't reinvent, its, reinvent itself every level, but it is very fun. It, it can be challenging, there are the easier levels, and it's got really unique modes too. Club Contest is currently the newest mode, and you actually have to like explore this map, walk, drag your character around it, and it costs some energy. There are some fights to do along the way, you're trying to take over like pivotal spots to outperform a few other clubs that are fighting with you so playing that with my club has been a lot of fun and it got my club a little bit more engaged than we had been in a while uh, as a club at least everyone's been playing but this was something we had to do together and look around and see where each other were to make sure that we could kind of spread and take over more land and i really appreciated that and i'm hoping that uh right now Right now, my club is in first place. I'm hoping that we do end up winning and we have a good fight with the people that we are competing with, but it's a lot of fun, this mode, and just the game as a whole is really keeping my attention. I, I highly recommend this game for a download. There are several modes, again, I've said it multiple times, to explain them all um, it would kind of be their own thing, and since I don't have the ability to put pictures in this video, I'm going to have to do that separately but that's okay i'm pretty excited to do that anyway so with the amount that goes into it there's different several different resources to get and if you don't like looking for different resources 
you can play the game casually, of course, but you're not going to become one of the more powerful characters or one of the more powerful players. You have to kind of play all the modes, get all the resources from each of the modes, and if you're not enjoying yourself, it can probably start to feel like a chore. I think that it reinvents itself frequently, and every time you get a new character, you can move them around in your team, completely reposition your team, and one thing that this game does amazingly is that some characters are really good in some modes, but not that great in other modes, which does encourage you to build more and more characters. It kind of starts off you want 6, then you want 12, and then it starts growing to even more. So it does encourage you getting a lot of characters built up, but you have a lot of time to do that. And, I don't know, it makes the game not get stale. There's never really a point where I'm like, oh, I can just auto through everything with this really powerful team. Because you can't get a team that strong because the modes get harder and harder as well. But also, a character I've been building up kind of just sucks at this new mode. Which sounds disheartening, but the challenge is really welcome after playing a lot of games where once you get to a certain level, you can kind of just turn your mind off. And sure, I do like to challenge myself and be like, okay, well, I'm not going to use characters that make the games easy. But when the options there, it's kind of harder to resist it. And this game does a really good job at forcing me to challenge myself and forcing me to really think about things. Early on, not so much, but the more time you put into the game and the scaling is done in such a way that the beginning is way too easy and that's kind of a, a bad thing to me. But later on, the more into it you get, the more difficult it gets. I mean, and to me, that is a bad thing, but maybe it's a very calculated business decision because maybe everybody wants to just go through the easy stuff you get all the summon tickets early you get a bunch of resources early and then when it gets hard well you've already gotten summon tickets you've already got good characters now it's like if you actually like the game if you've put days into the game then i'll let it be harder you have to think more because clearly you like playing and if you liked it when it was really easy well you can just auto the easy stuff and you don't have to keep going too much further so maybe it's a, a really calculated thing it makes a lot of sense to me that you make the beginning too easy for the sake of getting more players drawn in. I am having more fun now that it's actually difficult for me and now that it's challenging me in new ways. And there's still stuff that I haven't gotten to quite yet. My club, uh, I love my club. And we're doing great with what we do, but we haven't gotten to the final boss yet. You know, you, you have to beat the bosses together and you have to kind of go down this list. It's going to be rough. We are, we are a small but fiercely loyal club. And we fight hard, but... We have not killed the boss. So that's something. Like, I've been playing this game every day, and we still haven't gotten to that point quite yet. But Repost is getting better. We are fighting hard for it. I'm proud of all of them. My only point is there's stuff to do. It's a very exciting, it's a thrilling game with a lot of content in it. And I do highly recommend that if you're watching this channel, you, you try out One Punch Man the Strongest, give it a download. If you're not already playing, consider joining Server 3. I'd love to meet some people there. Uh, let me know if this video got you interested in trying it. And again, if you do join Server 3, then definitely reach out, join me. Yeah, other than that, uh, that's pretty much what I've got to say. But thank you so much for your time and for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the game. Pretty soon I'll release the, that summoning video and I'll release a lot of the modes videos. Just so that people can check it out. But yeah, take care. Thank you all very much. Until next time.